Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I wanted to talk about a trailer that has recently gone up on YouTube for a game called Gamer Girl. This trailer was uploaded, I think yesterday or maybe the day before. It was uploaded to the PlayStation YouTube channel and it was taken down just a few hours later. And it's still up there, I think it's on the Xbox YouTube channel, but the trailer is basically still up on YouTube. But this game has caused quite a bit of a... A, a ruckus, shall we say, um, because I'm fucking old, so I'll say ruckus, because of the, the fact of what it is, which I, I and I, I wanted to talk about it, because I think that, it's unsurprising, like, in today's world that everyone's offended by everything, but I just think, yeah, the game does look pretty shit, but I think that people are really overreacting with this one, and I wanted to make a video on it so don't get me wrong i do think the game is shit but basically the game is playing a simp you're playing a simp and you're a mod and you're basically simping for your e-girl which has triggered loads of simps and it's triggered loads of thoughts and everyone else in between or whatever and it's like this game is some evil fucking entity that everyone is fucking just going mad about anyway before we go any further um I, we're going to watch the trailer here now and I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit and give you my thoughts. Peggy 18. Hey everybody! Do you think that there's some sort of shitty unwritten rule that every shit game this year has to have a main character in it called Abby? Or is that, am I just like looking into things a bit too much? Also, just wanted to say, this game is made by the same people that made a game called The Late Shift, which is a game I played on my gaming channel a couple of years back. So, uh, then that game was pretty fucking hilarious. You played a parking attendant that went on a mission to recover, what was it, a fucking egg cup or some shit? I can't even remember. It was fucking crazy. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you are a fan of playing like shitty games. Okay, cool. Water time. Break time. All that, uh, junk has been taken out my stream. You are the moderator. You control the stream chat. You can just imagine the movie voiceover guy doing it for this, can't you? You control the stream chat. One man, one desire. One man, one decision, one desire. Of all the things that we can do in video games, they're like an escape for real life. We can go and play a game, we can be a samurai, we can be a cowboy, we can be an astronaut. Why would we want to be a simp for a Twitch thought? Like, I mean, there's people that obviously, that's their goal in real life, but whatever. Now we can play it in a game, and I guess it's probably easy to become a moderator for this Abby girl than it is actually for a real thought. Anyway. Oh, come on. Moderator, what do I do? Like, do I answer it? Become a part of her life. Yeah, but what part of her life? The annoying guy that's outside having a wank in her bushes, that guy. I mean, these the life of a moderator, I imagine, is, like, for a thought, is a, a pretty miserable one. I mean, the only one I can really think of is uh, <laughs> the Bad Bunny's moderator. Fine. I feel that's fine. So if a guy pays for my tab... I think they... I'm just... I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched, like, uh, a vampire touching holy water. That guy, you remember him? Fucking hell, and he's like one of the biggest losers on the whole fucking internet. We should go for a drink <gasps> after. Yeah, maybe. Yeah? I know, what do you guys think? What you got that, guys? <laughs> do you know what's funny? This girl here, the main girl, Abby, uh, she actually helped write this. She actually helped write this game and apparently from what I read she Improvised the script so there was no actual like script. She just made shit up on the spot and uh, I mean the acting looks pretty shitty, but I gotta say man This is pretty accurate. You've so far. We've got the cosplay. We've got the the dancing you getting this guys I, I, I don't know man. I think that not an Oscar, but there's got to be some sort of award that uh, she should yeah, I mean, I'm already thinking this looks better than The Last of Us 2, so... No! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Abby, you're streaming again? What's it to you? 
Speaking of Oscars, get this guy one. <laughs> Abby, you're streaming again? Like she's got some sort of fucking, like, wanking problem. You're wanking again? Oh, five more minutes, come on, it's not... Fucking hell, you're streaming again. And uh, ironically, you're on the stream, mate, apparently. Apparently she's streaming this, uh, this FaceTime thing. If we're playing the moderator and we can see this, then I assume this, this, uh, FaceTime thing is being streamed. <laughs> Make sure he's okay. So she goes to check on her boyfriend, who apparently lives on the Man of Madame boat. What the fuck? What kind of- Why would you go out with someone like that? Why would you even talk to someone like that? Hey, you wanna come back to my house? Oh yeah, alright, let's go back to your house. Oh, oh, bit of a problem, mate. You, this isn't a house, this is some sort of broken down old fucking haunted ship. Yeah, yeah, I live here. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem rapey. I'll come in. I'm already not buying this shit. I mean, I am buying this shit. I'm gonna buy this fucking game. I mean, I'm not buying the story. It's a bit far-fetched. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Oh! Ah! Ah! oh my god! So that's it, that's the trailer, that's the game that has caused so much kind of, like, uproar. And I gotta say, like, other than the fact that it looks really bad, I didn't see the big deal. And I, right now, I want to say, you know, all being well, because I'm very lazy and, you know, I, I don't want to 100% guarantee this, but as long as I'm not feeling lazy, I will stream this game on my YouTube, on this YouTube channel. Not my gaming channel, I will stream it on this channel just because I think it'll be fucking funny to see, like, people, like, fucking going, like, mental about how, like, oh, you shouldn't be playing this game? I just think that'd be pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, other than the fact that the acting's bad and it looks like it's a piss-poor story, it, I don't get it. I don't get why it's so offensive. And anyone that follows my gaming channel, I play games like this anyway, like, um, I play games like The Late Shift that was made by the same people. I like to find those games that are so bad that they're funny. And that's what I would categorise this game as. It looks like it's just going to be fucking horrendous. Kind of like The Room. Like, you know, the, you watch The Room, not because it's a... Well, actually, no, The Room is a great movie. But you know what I mean? You watch The Room because it's funny. And it's sort of like you the same reason why you'd play a game like this. But, yeah, so I, I honestly don't get it. And, um, of course, a lot of the uh, Twitch regular sort of female streamers, that uh, the mainstream ones had an issue with this, as some did some male Twitch streamers, and also, you know, it's both, both men and women. But uh, I find it particularly interesting to hear, like, from the um, the thoughts, the usual suspects, the, of what they thought about it, and uh, Alinity had something to say about it, which I thought was quite interesting. Okay, cool. Water time. Break time. You are the moderator. Uh, Yank has been taking out my stream. This is so bad. Okay, okay, I want to point out that this is so objectifying. Like, you get your own girl. Oh, hell no! The irony and the hypocrisy of Alinity calling this game objectifying is absolutely hilarious. I mean, this girl has literally made her entire audience off of objectifying her, herself and uh, she knows that she's not she she fucking knows that people aren't watching her because she's like witty or fucking hilarious or she's a great gamer or whatever she objectifies herself and that is why i mean there's literally that picture of her uh, taking a photo of her, her ass like and yet you're calling this game objectifying it's a bit of a bit of hypocrisy there Someone's gonna end up murdered. It kind of looks like a fun story, honestly, but I, I do think there's so many wrong things with it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Is she gonna ki get kidnapped and that ver Okay, I see it like a cool story, honestly. Like, I see it like a cool story, but at the same time, 
there are so many things wrong with the fact that you can get your own gamer girl. Now, at least she says that, you know, she agrees that it looks like a, a funny kind of story. But I'm not sure what she says because she says it twice about um, you get your own gamer girl. It's wrong because you get your own gamer girl. I'm not sure what she means by that. I mean, obviously, you play as the uh, moderator, which, you know, obviously, that doesn't mean you get the gamer girl. Obviously, it seems like this moderator in this story is a bit more like she's obviously getting advice from him and whatever, which doesn't really happen as often, I guess, in real life. But... In the head of these moderators, these simps, they like being the moderator and stuff and donating money and simping basically because it makes them feel closer to the, the Twitch streamer and it makes them, they're doing this in the hopes that one day they will meet you and you'll be their girlfriend. That exactly what a lot, not all of them, but this is what a lot of these simps think like. So I'm not sure why you think that this get the, the people that made this game actually said that this was the thing they were trying the message they were trying to get across is how dangerous this sort of thing is which i think is a load of shit i don't think there's gonna that message is um gonna be made by this game at all i think it was just something they said but um it is true like a lot of these uh, these simps are fucking crazy i mean look at that uh video i made a couple of videos back about uh the simp that made a cartoon and anime a mini anime for um the okay boomer girl i mean that's just fucking creepy okay and i gotta tell you guys that something a person's interact like my interactions with my moderators have never been like that like ever i don't know where people get this idea that girls date their mods i just don't even like what the fuck Oh my god, Eleni, how can you say that? Do you know how many simps you've destroyed right now? Bad Bunny's moderator, that guy, he is crushed right now after what you've just said. It was his only fucking hope of getting a girlfriend was to be the best moderator ever. And you've just, you've just blew that for him. Anyway, that was pretty much what Eleni thought of it, which I thought was quite funny that she thought the game was objectifying, yet that's pretty much all she's done to get views. I mean, you fucking hell. Um... And, you know, overall, though, so she thinks the story looks quite funny, so whatever. But Pokimane also reacted to this. Now, her reaction wasn't quite as interesting because she spent a lot of the time... Well, she watched the whole trailer in silence and she didn't look impressed. And then at the end, she kind of looks like... She face palms and kind of looks like, oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? And then she basically just says this. Why is it called Gamer Girl? If she didn't play a single game once. Now, I thought this was funny because, first of all, she does play a game in the trailer. She only plays one game. Now, Pokimane does go back and correct herself and say, oh, someone in the stream chat points out, she does play a game. So Pokimane's like, all right, fair enough. But I think it's funny the point to be made anyway is why is she called a gamer girl and she doesn't play a game once? Well, probably because they weren't allowed to call the game Twitch Thought or Gamer Thought because that would be offensive or Thought Girl or something, maybe, or The Art of Thottery. I guess those names wouldn't have gone down very well. But the logic that to be a gamer girl, you have to play games like a gamer streamer, you you don't. All the biggest Twitch female Twitch Thoughts barely play games. I mean, Pokemon, I, I don't know how often she actually plays games. I mean, I'm not a fan of her or whatever, but anything that I see of her that is like mainstream, it's either her sitting down, watching a YouTube video, then getting up to go to the bathroom and everyone lo looks at her ass, and then also her just watching a video and eating a bowl of salad and barely reacting to it. Like, why would, you know, are you a gamer girl? I mean, this is what Twitch is. You know, I'm not having a go. It used to be a, a gaming platform. Now it's not. Now it's just like a light version of Pornhub. So, yeah, and it's quite funny, actually, because people like Alinity and uh, Amaranth and uh, Pokimane are kind of like, what they do is kind of detrimental to a lot of actual proper gamer girls, like girls that want to make it on Twitch by streaming games won't be taken seriously because they're put into the same light as people like Alinity and Amaranth, and they'll have to put up with a lot of shit, like, oh, you're just a thought, even though they're not, or... Um, you know, shit like that, when basically they just want to play games and be a, a streamer for that. But when you go on to Twitch, you know, and you look at the Twitch homepage, it ain't games. I mean, it might be a little bit, but the majority of it is like the um, just thotting or just chatting section. 
And that is what Twitch is now. So, yeah, I don't know why you're questioning why she's uh, calling herself a gamer girl when she's not playing any g games, because apparently you can do that. Bro, we're fucking... We're like three minutes into the day and I'm already about to have an aneurysm. I put that clip in just because I thought it was funny. Can you imagine Pokemon and aneurysm? Pokemon literally getting stressed over a trailer. This girl has got no stress in her life. Imagine if your life, basically, you just got paid a shitload of money to sit at home, eat salad, occasionally get up and go to the toilet and watch YouTube videos. And that's your living. You, you're not having any aneurysm. <laughs> your life is so fucking easy. It's unreal. Um, yeah. And I think that's why a lot of these, um, like, uh, and again, before I go any further, I just want to say, I have no problem with um, girls doing this. I've said no end of times. If I was an attractive girl, I would I would do all this shit. I'd have an OnlyFans. I'd sell my bathwater. Why not? It's easy money. Get that money off the simps. I have no problem doing it. But what I don't like is when they do it and then they try and make out like their life is hard or, oh, we're being cyberbullied. We're being objectified. Yeah, because you do that to yourself. Um, and I also feel sorry, like I said before, for actual gamer girls that are trying to make it on Twitch that just want to play games, getting put in the same category as these thoughts just because they're a girl but anyway yeah i just think it's fucking hilarious that they seem to have um beef there's a lot more you can look on twitter at how many people have an issue gamer uh, female streamers and non-female streamers with this game and it's like is it really that bad is it really the worst thing ever yeah the acting looks shitty it's kind of funny that there isn't even a script they just made it up as they went um but how you know it's a bit unrealistic in terms of she's got a boyfriend that lives in a fucking the man of medan and it turns into this big mystery or whatever. But it's pretty realistic in the way, you know, you see her in the trailer, she's doing cosplay and shit like that. And it's pretty accurate of what a Twitch, like, thought is. So I think it's, yeah. And I definitely will be, well, laziness. But, like, even if I don't do it right away, I will stream this on my, this YouTube channel. It'll be the first stream I do on this YouTube channel just because I think it'll be fucking funny. And we talk a lot about thoughts and simps on this channel. So it'd be really good to experience what it's like to be a simp. And, you know, sort of moderate the chat for a thought. That would be amazing. That would be like some sort of like a little experiment. We'll get to see through the eyes of a simp. So, simp simulator. That's what it should have been called. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I just wanted to sort of comment on it because I just thought it was getting a, a bit like too much hate. No, not, not, it does look shit, but, you know, in a good way. It looks like it would be so bad that it's funny. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the game and everyone's sort of reaction to it. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. You said we